Hey, we need to talk. Oh, what? We need more views. LoveWeb isn't working. What? It's been going great so far. No, it hasn't. LoveWeb really isn't going anywhere. We need a bigger audience. Ah, but it's a warm and comfy little community so full of passion. That's all that matters, right? That's fine, but we need more views. And LoveWeb isn't getting any. How about we try something that already works like, hmm, these iceberg explained videos that get millions of views. We should totally do one. Come on, they're so easy and it'll be good for our growth. I can see you talk about a YouTube iceberg or website iceberg. We could even have the video cut in several parts. Wow, well, but I want to do a love web! God, you're such a baby. We can't make love webs like this forever. We gotta try this iceberg meme format. Iceberg meme? Wait, 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 I got a cool idea. Iceberg, love web, iceberg, love web! Wait, don't tell me you're doing an iceberg on love web. No, no, no. I want to do a love web on the iceberg meme itself. What? That's dumb. What would you even say about it? It's just a YouTube trend. Ooh, think again, friend. This thing actually has a deep history. It's only the tip of the iceberg. Whoa. And here's the rest of it. So, you're going to explain the history of the iceberg meme through an actual iceberg? Yeah. Damn. Okay. If that's what it takes for you to do an iceberg video, let's do that. Yeah. Across this trend during your internet surfing. It's about iceberg tears. The principle is simple. The image is about a specific topic and is filled with secrets and theories. The lower you go, the more obscure it is. But the lower parts are always mysterious and intriguing, and that's what the video is for. It's gonna try explaining everything mentioned in the iceberg image. It's a pretty engaging dynamic, having a guide to hold your hand and slowly descend into the most obscure corners of whatever the topic is. Anyway, let's get into it. The Google Maps Anomaly Iceberg Explained. The most popular iceberg tier video at the time of recording, with over 8 million views, and it came out a whole year after the trendsetter, which is the next entry. The Super Mario 6D for Iceberg Explained. This is the earliest iceberg tier explained video according to my researches. It came out on June 25, 2020, and has at the moment over 4 million views. It was explained by Mishkoz. I was surprised to see that this is also the video to introduce the concept of the confidence meter, something that will be present in a lot of other Iceberg Explained videos. The more the meter is full, the more the YouTuber knows what they're talking about. I was going to do it for this video, but I made the iceberg, so no need. Oh. Yo, Manon. What? Check this out. I made an iceberg, too. Whoa! What is it? Show me, show me! I'll send it to ya. The newest version of the Bing Bing Wahoo 60 for Iceberg. Pretty accurate, huh? Very funny, Cybermare. How about we move on to below the surface? Twitter caused the trending. This entry is about the tweet linked in the Mario 60 for Iceberg Explained video's description. It's where Mish Coles got the iceberg image. It was shared by McGarrion on May 23 of the same year, and it got a lot of traction on Twitter. This was clearly the start of the snowball effect, a big boom on Twitter leading to a big boom on YouTube. But we can dig even deeper. Fortune created the Super Mario 60 for Iceberg. McGarrion wasn't the creator of this iceberg. It wasn't created by anyone in particular, but it was made by a group of anonymous peeps. I asked McGarrion where they found the iceberg and they did confirm it was on B, a board on Fortune. This thread is the one where the final Mario 60 for iceberg was made. Dating from May 22, it's the earliest instance I could find of the iceberg on the internet. And since the post says, I added one that was already on there, I think it's fair to assume that this anon created this version. By scrolling up the thread, you can even find earlier versions of the iceberg. But this is sadly the earliest version I could find, meaning this might be the thread that gave birth to the whole Mario 60 for iceberg. You can see anons discussing several entries that would later appear on the picture, like what Dry World's negative emotional aura. Secret Aquarium, and the Bowser Room. But remember that this is speculatory. There could have been earlier versions I might have missed. Side Pictures Unknown Origins. There's another thing interesting with this thread. It contains those two pictures, which appear to be unedited versions of the pictures that appear on the side of the Mario 60 for Iceberg. But I also can't find an earlier origin of them. It seems like this is also where they were posted for the first time on the internet. I really thought I'd find a better source, but they feel so random here, like they just popped into existence out of nowhere. For YouTube trend icebergs on image boards. Iceberg tears were already existing for years before they got really popular. 
Before 2020, there was something you find on image boards, especially Fortune. The music board, Mew, has an iceberg image with the lower you go. The more obscure the music genre is, the video game board, B, has that too, but also a video game conspiracies iceberg. X is the board with the most iceberg images, all focused on conspiracies. But Fortune archives are pretty limited, so it's hard to find when this trend started. All you gotta remember is that this was already a trend for years, but mostly on Fortune. The internet, May 31, 2011. According to Know Your Meme, this could be the earliest iceberg tear of the internet. Bruh, really? Know Your Meme? What? Come on, I thought we were better than this. Know Your Meme is perfectly serviceable, but if it makes you feel better, all the research up to this point has been done without using it. Ugh. Okay, keep going. This image is just an iceberg tier of websites, but it's also using the iceberg metaphor to show the surface level web against the deep dark web. Creepy Dolphin Original Photograph You might have noticed how image boards icebergs tend to portray a person getting more gross and larger as you descend the tiers. But near the end, this person transforms in a creepy looking water creature, possibly the result of knowing such forbidden knowledge. Well, According to National Geographic, this is a picture of a beluga whale, taken by San Diego's National Marine Mammal Foundation. This picture was used for an article dating back in 2012. This is a real picture, but beluga whales are not all spoopy like this. The shadows are tricking you into seeing a face, but you can see that the whale's eyes are right here! Well, that's reassuring! Let's explore the dark waters! Plums and wicker off. This entry is referring to an article written in Thai. It's talking about Freud's conception of the human psyche. But most importantly, look! It's the same iceberg photo used on every other iceberg meme! This might be the first time this specific iceberg photograph is used on the internet. But we have a research issue on our paws. This website is dated September 30, 2002 on Google. But don't be fooled! Google sites can have extremely wonky dates. Here's something I came across during my research. It's the internet iceberg image from 2011, but on a website dating back to July 1994. Yo, I didn't know they had Tumblr in the 90s. Yeah, archives are already hard to browse, and those wrongly dated websites are not helping. We've been talking about icebergs a lot in this video, but did you ever wonder where the iceberg photograph itself comes from? Um, no, literally nobody wondered that. Well, ralphclevenger.com is the website of the photograph who took the picture. You can find the original iceberg photo in all its glory. It's from 1997 and it was actually the first of its kind. An iceberg showing little at the top, but showing a lot more underneath the surface. That's why it's so popular. Hey, Monon. Oh, what is it this time? You might want to add a new layer to your iceberg. I just found out something. Iceberg picture is fake. So, this dude has a small interview on YouTube and on it, he explains how this is actually Photoshop. Oh? Yeah, Photoshop existed at the time. What's underwater is actually the top of another iceberg that's been flipped over. He says it's not even color corrected. Whoa, really? Yeah, just hear it from the photographer himself. The sky and the water was taken out here, off Southern California. Yep. The top iceberg was shot in Antarctica, and the bottom iceberg was shot in Alaska, above water, and then we cut it out and flipped it and put it underwater. This iceberg pic was fake the entire time? My equals boom! Eh, kinda ironic how that creepy dolphin photo is actually real, but the iceberg photo is fake. What do other web users think about this? I guess they didn't know either. But they're also talking about how it's obvious for anyone who thinks about it for more than one second. Something to do with water density. Oh, we couldn't possibly know that. That's all stuff from the human world. <sighs> yeah. Well, it's not internet related, so I don't really care. Anyway, I hope you all enjoyed this deep dive into iceberg meme lore. This better get more traction than usual. We really need those views. Don't worry. I'm sure love will be big in no time. Hmm, maybe if I keep thinking of trendy topics, we'll be okay. No, I'm tired. So while you search trendy topics, I'll go dream about love web topics that are instead not cringe. friends and webbies. Don't forget to check out the Patreon to support the show. You can be featured right here with all those epic peeps, like a boss!